Okay guys, so let's talk about customer th service. So this is this will definitely break your store if you do not pay attention to it. It is super important. Half the time people just want to know that someone's on the under, other end of this random website that they bought a product off. So they will email you about the shipping times. They want you to reply. They want to know where their product is. If you, you won't actually have that many complaints about shipping times as long as you put the shipping times in each product um, page and also you can, you can email them, remind them of the shipping time if you want. That's one technique. But another thing is if people contact you about it to reply to them straight away. So this can be a big deal and I should have done this in the, when I was setting up the navigation and pages, but let's just set this up quickly so you guys can remember. So let's just go pages. Um, let's just go add page. And let's put a, yeah, just like it says here, a contact us page. And then in here you could have blah, 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 and have an email to contact you with. So what do you do there? You set up a Gmail account that is in your store name. So my store name is thatentrepreneurlifestyle.com. So I will put contact at that entrepreneur or, or that entrepreneur lifestyle at Gmail or whatever you want to put something professional and then they can contact you. So you put that in there. So let's just that entrepreneur lifestyle at gmail.com gmails gmail.com. So it would just be something like that, but obviously write it up professional sort of thing. And then we're just going to click save. Okay, and then we're going to go to navigation now, just there, navigation. And in the main menu, we want to put it up the top. So we've got the shipping frequently asked questions. And now we're going to have contact us. You can obviously have an about us page as well. You can have whatever the, whatever it is that you want to put in there. So we just go to pages and then we just go to contact us and just click add. So what this does, obviously we go to our website Did I just hit save? I didn't, that's why. And this is why I always tell you guys to save it because then you wonder what's going on. So save now if I refresh this and there it is. So what else, the other thing that you could put in that contact us, so they'll just be able to click on that um, and then they can obviously have find your email to contact you. But the other thing that you can put in here, just like we put frequently asked questions you could just have free, like frequently asked questions in here and a big list of them, like how long's my shipping? What's the, you know, what what's the answer to a heap of different questions like that are gonna be common questions. And you can add to that over time when you keep getting the same questions over and over again. And that's gonna save you some emails, but the point is you're gonna have to deal with some some emails and that that's just something that you have to deal with and be a professional, do not, um, abuse your customers no matter how much they abuse you uh yeah you've you you're building a business you got to treat it as such eventually when you get to a higher level you will outsource your email so i'm going to do a video about outsourcing later in this course and you can look at that if you're wondering but pretty much just to cover it quickly you can hire someone from um, onlinejobs.ph and that it won't cost you that much you can train them up through Skype or whatever, however you want to do it, and just have them pretty much answering emails. So the two main things that you're going to end up having people outsourced for will be email, dealing with customer emails, and fulfilling orders. Those will be the two main things, but I will have an outsource section, so look forward to that.